I will be reviewing The Phantom Tall Booth. It is a really good book, actually. One of my dad's all-time favorites. So, it's about this boy named Milo. And one day, he finds this box. Well, that is actually the Tall Booth. And he drives him with his little electric car thing, like those little things you sometimes see kids driving around. And he goes on this large adventure through places like the Valley of Sound and Dictionopolis um, and, and the doldrums. And the doldrum creatures seem really adorable. And he meets this watchdog, well, this guy named Pot, but he, and the story of it, maybe I shouldn't tell you because maybe you're gonna read it. Um, so, spoiler alert. Before they hear his noise, I believe, the other guy talks and his name is Tick, and this guy ticks and his name is Talk. And he meets the humbug at, um, what's it, where's the place called? Oh, yeah, in the marketplace of, um, Dictionopolis, I believe. And there's this one part, spoiler alert, there's this weird guy without this, without this, without this, and completely white. My glasses are probably foggy. And Jules Pfeiffer uh, did the drawings in this book. And the author's name is Norton Jester, as you can see. Here. They rescue princesses, reason, rhyme and reason, I believe. And there was a movie in the 70s of the Phantom Toll Booth, and it, the Drawings were by Chuck Jones, the guy who did Bugs Bunny. I think they should make a new movie, movie, movie of the Phantom Tollbooth, and um, I think they should do it in an animation more like this. This book was written in 1961, and they only did this book together. And 50 years later, they did um, another book together. Um, called The Odious Ogre, I believe. Yeah. This book is called Phantom Tollbooth. 